to the GM sandbox. This is where we develop the newest machines. Here the engineers can play around with the newest technology. Today we are going to talk about QR codes or data matrix codes. They are essential in today's labels. So why QR codes? Why data matrix codes? It's all about tracking and label size. Today the space on a label is limited. So your legal information, as an example your instructions, they take up way too much space on the actual label. By adding a QR code, you can put that information on the web. And when you do that, you can actually track the label when it was scanned, the device type that used to scan it, and also the location. Also, it's important in pharmaceutical labels, printed electronics, that you have to track different batch numbers so you can troubleshoot a product. To do all that, we have developed the GM IR350. It is our classical inspection rewinder, but this time it has a special inkjet system, a high resolution inkjet system, and a camera system with some unique features fitted. Now this system can both print the actual QR code, but most importantly, it can verify it. And this is the whole reason for this machine. If you just print your QR codes on your digital press or on your flexible press, flexible press, it's actually difficult to verify them in production because you just don't stop a huge press. If you take that process offline to a small machine, you can print and verify at the same time. This is a unique benefit. So I'll now take you through the different stations here on the machine and explain you the features step by step step by step on the IR350. The machine is left to right, the web width is 350. We can supply wider on demand. We start with the unwind. So there is a pneumatic unwind with tension control on here. The web then travels up to a splice table. It is the nice type where you can actually splice right in between the labels, so on your waist. After that, we go into a very important item. It's a web cleaner. When we are talking printing and printing QR or data matrix codes, it must be spotless, perfect. So we start by cleaning up the web. Then we go into a printer that actually prints the QR code. That sits down here. This printer has four heads, so we can print four QR codes across the web. We can fit more heads if needed, but this is a typical setup. After the printing, there is a drying system here, allowing for high process speed. So the actual printed codes will be perfectly clear and not smear out. Then we move up to the inspection. So now we have printed the QR code. And remember, this is a digital system. So all the codes can be different. They are not the same. It can be a running number for a batch. It can also be a date. So every code is different. The 4K inspection system here is aware of this and it's inspecting every QR code for readability and it's locking everything. So if we look here on the system, it gives the operator a very clear overview of what is actually going on. Right here we have a data matrix. We'll show a little bit later when we run the machine here that that number is actually increasing. So you can easily see that every QR code is unique. So the matrix system actually controls every label. Can it be read? Is it a sequence? So are the numbers going one, two, three, four? We are not missing one here in the batch. After that, if there is an error, there is a secondary inkjet system that will mark just on the side of the web here. It will put a dot down saying, OK, there is a problem with this label. And then it will place it up here on the splice table for the operator to inspect or replace. It will also be shown up here on the graphical user interface where the mistake is so the operator can clearly see what's going on. Then finally there is a count so we can count how many labels are on the roll. And the roll ends up down here where we have a rewind on the machine. For ease of access you can also use the upper rewind here on the machine depending on the roll weight. Everything is controlled with a very nice touchscreen graphical display so you can see your web app in the local language. The machine is of course industry 4.0 compliant 
That means that if you are located in some countries, you can actually get a state grant or benefit by buying this equipment. From a service perspective, it also means that we can be right there with you instantly. When the machine is connected to the internet, our engineers can look into the machine and help you troubleshoot problems. The same goes for the camera system here. If you have a problem, simply press the assistance button here, call up, and we can be there and help you see what you are seeing on the screen, making sure that your operators can get quickly on with the job. So this is the GM IR350. Now we will show you each station in a running state so you can get a feeling for the details. If you want more information, please check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.